Hi, we're continuing this week with our daily devotionals and we're looking at uh, the reality of what it means to be part of a great cloud of witnesses and, um, and, and what that can, how that inspires our faith, how we can experience that or understand that. Now, um, one of the things that Presbyterians are known for is this idea of predestination. And it sounds like a big, scary word. And we, we put all this um, baggage onto this word of predestination. And sometimes some Presbyterians are a little nervous about even, even advocating it for it because it feels like um, exclusionary, like it's an exclusionary idea, or it feels like we know better or we're, we're better than others in some way, like it elevates us above other people. And so I wanted to just take 30 seconds and do the quick, the quick version of predestination. Now, if you want more, you can read Romans 9 through 11 is sort of the classic uh, text on predestination and Paul's wrestling with what predestination means in a biblical context. Now, Calvin, John Calvin, the Swiss reformer, was the first person to really codify it in a way that was systematic. But predestination is something that has been around an understanding that has been a part of the Christian witness since at least St. Augustine in, in the third century, second and third century. And it's just the idea that God, who is all powerful and all knowing and knows you better than you know yourself, already knows what's going to happen to you when you die. That God already has a plan for you when you die. And we, what makes us uncomfortable about this is that we think we don't have um, the ability to make decisions. That we are unable to make choices or that our life is planned out. And predestination is not fatalism. It's not this idea that we don't have any say in our life. That we don't have free will or free choice. It just means that God has extended grace to you and said... Your life is in my hands. Your life, your end of life is in my hands. And I already know, I've already welcomed you into, into the heavenly kingdom. And so you're free now. You don't have to worry about that. You're free to make choices based on the reality that you don't have to worry about whether God's gonna accept you or not, or whether you're included or not, or what's gonna happen when you die. You are part of the cloud of witnesses. It's already happened. God did it for you thousands of years ago. So you don't need to worry. You don't need to be concerned. You can live into that gift of grace. God bless.